Arts now. And we begin with continuing coverage this noon of the deadly explosive crash over the weekend that still has parts of 271 and Route 8 shut down. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Versansky. So those closures are going to impact traffic for quite a while. 19's Harry Boomer joining us live from Macedonia with the latest Harry. Well, Nikki, we have just learned the name of the driver of that tanker that crashed that you just mentioned. His name is Jason Thomas Stevens. He's 31 years old from Ashtabula. Now, let's go to some video, show you what happened here. That deadly crash is still impacting traffic at State Route 8 and 271 interchange here in Macedonia. Stevens crashed his tanker, causing a massive fire and spilling some of the 7,500 gallons of diesel fuel, some of which is believed to have spilled into a nearby stream. Here is Ray Marsh from ODOT. What we do know is that we will be um, replacing the pavement on State Route 8 southbound over Brandywine Creek. Um, that work will happen this week. Now, Marsh says crews have been working with contractors to inspect the roadways and bridges affected by the crash and fire. Additional inspections will be needed to this week for crews to continue to assess what else is going on. Let me tell you the routes that are places that are closed. Ramps from Route 8 to 271 closed. Ramps to 271 to Route 8 southbound closed. Route 8 southbound between Highland Road and Hines Hill Road also closed. I have an interview with uh, Mr. Marsh set up in just a little bit to get the very latest. I'll have that for you in my reports at 3, 4, 5, and 6 on 19 News. I'm Harry Boomer, 19 News.